Hi, my name is Justin Latimer and I'm playing as the Egyptians and the battle map is Nile River. Let's take a look at my army. I have three units of Pharaoh's Guard and I have two units of Desert Axemen with some upgrades. I've also brought four units of Pharaoh's Bowmen with upgrades and I brought an Onigner because I fought quite a few battles here where my opponent brings a lot of artillery and they just guard this choke point here and they just try to win with missile barrages and it usually works. Also brought two units of desert cavalry. They have some upgrades on them and they are with my general. When I'm playing as Egypt, I'm quite fond of these axes because they can do damage to armor. So I like to bring these guys and I like to bring the desert infantry, desert axemen. I've said it before, but Egypt in this fact Egypt in this game looks really cool. It's not correct. It looks like New Kingdom Egypt. But it does look cool. These headdresses. And they wear... Definitely have some fancy eyeliner. Nile Cabaret have interesting armor. Lots of gold. Which is appropriate because Egypt's such a wealthy faction. These guys look cool too. Pharaoh's bowmen and Pharaoh's guards. The Egyptians of this time period were ruled by the Ptolemaic Greeks. So they definitely would have been a little bit more Greek. I'm taking pop shots at the enemy with my Onigner now. I took down a archer. I think I got a few there. quite willing to get into a shootout with my opponent. I have more archers and they're also better. I'm going to put my archers into loose formation. My opponent's archer, Auxilia, isn't doing quite so good against my archers. My archers are isolated from the rest of my army, so I probably should move something up real quick. He's charging with cavalry, I'm going to counter charge with my own.
Victory is a distinct possibility. My opponent's charging in with more cavalry. I'm going to pull back my forces. I should have had my archer supported better than I did. However, my cavalry saw that long enough for my pharaoh's guards to intercept. And they end up routing the enemy cavalry. So the battle's looking pretty good for me so far. My cavalry have broken up quite a bit. There are now... There's now only one guy in my general's unit. Other than my general. And the desert cavalry is now down to four men. My opponent has crossed over with their urban cohorts. This unit of legionary first cohort routes, and that's pretty impressive considering the fact it has an eagle. My X-Men and my Pharaoh's guards are doing really well at this point. Defeat seems certain for this unit of Legionary First Cohort. The Urban Cohort also feels that defeat is a certainty. Here come some incendiary pigs. I don't know what good those are going to do. Except that whoever wins the battle will have bacon. My general's just standing by to get moral support. These officers that the Egyptians have, they have this sort of glitched little sword that's all black. It's really weird. I'm sending in my desert cavalry to help. One of them already got killed. There's only two left. Probably not a good decision. The general is giving orders here. The battle is no longer going completely in my favor. I am getting pushed back a little bit by the Romans. And I've also managed to get myself outflanked here. You can see though that I've pushed the urban cohorts back pretty far as well. The enemy's charging in their general. This is, this is turned into a battle near the choke points. It wasn't what I intended. I'm going to charge in some of my Pharaoh's bowmen to help speed up the battle here because I need to get these men killed quickly. Two of my units here are routing Pharaoh's guards. My general is in the thick of the battle here. He's now by himself. No 
whoever been in his unit. I had to rely a lot more on my Pharaoh's Roman than I had originally intended. The general's back here. I have him chasing the enemy general. The enemy general is also alone in his unit. My Onigner is out of shot, so they're now going to participate in the fight. Now that the battle's calmed down quite a bit, there aren't a lot of Roman soldiers left. Our repeating Ballista and a Legionary First Cohort down this way. My Pharaoh's Bowman can focus on what they do best again. Defeat seems certain for my Pharaoh's guards. I'm going to bolster them with some Desert Axemen who have reformed. Forces now feel differently. They feel that the forces are more equal. I'm using flame arrows to try to route the first cohort. So they killed that legionnaire who got too close to them. Now all that's left is this unit of repeating ballista. My general can't resist a fight. By the gods, your foolish general has got himself killed! How will your soldiers greet this news? And alas, that's how he dies. That was strange. Oh, he's still alive. One of those onic, one of those repeating ballista guys has a really good arm. Victory is sweet indeed, and all the sweeter for being so decisive. So there really aren't a lot of men left on either side. I deployed 894 men against my opponent's 910. I killed 835 men against 696. And men remaining, I have 292 men remaining, and my opponent has 67 men remaining. Casualties inflicted. My Egyptian cavalry general was able to take down 21 men. My desert cavalry were able to take down 43 and 20. Pharaoh's guards 
130, 132, and 55. So they did very good. The Desert Axemen took down 67 and 39, and the Pharaoh's Bowmen took down 67, 13, 101, and 87. And the Heavy Onigners took down 60. Good game to my opponent, Blondie1995. Thank you for watching. I will have more videos for you soon.